Hey, Jimmy Beach here with Alien Skin Software. This video is all about the chrome effect in eye candy. As impressive as the results from this filter are, it's really simple to work with. I have a file open in Photoshop. This is the eyeball icon that we used in one of our eye candy print ads. This started as an illustrator file. Eye candy does beautiful work on clean shapes with smooth and sharp edges like these. I've merged all of the black components into one layer and I've put the iris on another layer. I'll select the black parts layer and run eye candy's chrome effect. It's best to choose the overall look before you fiddle with the details, so the presets are where you want to start. Most of the time, you'll find that some of the presets are close to what you need. As I hover over the different looks, the navigator below gives a quick preview. Presets are usually named after the reflection map, which is the most influential part of the chrome effect. I'm going to choose the preset, Round Office Space. Office Space is one of my favorite reflection maps for making silver objects. I'll make a few customizations over on the Basic tab. Bevel Width, right here. This is the most useful slider in eye candy effects like chrome, bevel, and glass. I'll turn it up a bit. I want the bevel to nearly meet in the center, like a hemisphere. I'm going to turn the smoothness off for a second. See the stretch marks or wrinkles in the effect? I'll turn the slider up just enough to make them go away. This reflection map is so crisp and clear that it's a little distracting, especially right here in the center. One way to deal with that is to make the surface less perfectly polished. Here on the basic tab, I'll set the surface to rough. And now the material looks like crumpled foil. I'll turn that off and show you another way to deal with the reflection using the lighting tab. Here is where you can choose a reflection map. And underneath is a slider for blurring it. I'll blur the reflection until it isn't distracting. That looks good. I'll press OK. Now I'll select the iris layer. And I'll run eye candy again. Eye Candy will remember the last preset that you applied. All I want to do is change the color. On the Lighting tab, we'll add a tint. Let's pick a color. I'll choose the green from the Eye Candy logo. Now we'll turn the tint amount up until it looks right. Great! I'll press OK again. In the ad, we added a shadow effect. I don't want the shadow from the green piece to show on the silver piece, so I'll merge these layers together. To do this, I'll press Command or Control E. Now I'll run Eye Candy. Choose the shadow effect. Under Presets, I'll choose a drop shadow. and I'll turn the opacity down just a bit. That looks good. I'll press OK. It's as easy as that. And that's all for the Chrome Effect video. This is Jimmy Beach. I'll see you next time.